Hello beautiful people, welcome back to another Twitch panel design tutorial. Today, we will be creating this Twitch panels with a few easy steps. Don't worry, I will show you every step. Also, I will be using a free tool named PhotoP. So, no need to have Photosub. Before starting, let's talk about today's sponsor, Own.TV. If you are looking to boost your live streaming graphics most easily and affordably possible, then Own.TV will be the choice to go. They have the largest library of premium, live streaming pre-made assets for any niche you are in. Get professionally made overlays, alerts, emotes, Twitch panels, social media banners, deck icons, stream package, and many more. Use the link in the description box below, and use the code EMSQ at the checkout to get 50% off on all of their products. Go to photop.com and create a new project. Make it 1920 by 1080. For resolution, keep it 72. Select the shape tool and click anywhere in the white area. In the pop-up box, type 320 for width and 200 for height. This is the recommended size for the Twitch panel. However, I will make the width a little more wider. But in the final export, we will make it to the perfect size. To make it wider, you need to enable the transform tool. Press Ctrl plus ALT plus T together. Then drag the anchor points to your needs. Like my previous two episodes of free stream design episodes with the PhotoP series, I will copy paste the color codes again. You can always download the assets, color codes and read the full tutorial in the blog post. The link will be in the description box. Now, double click the small box in the colored box, in the shape layer. I will make it to our primary blue color. Then create a new layer by clicking the page icon, on top of the shape layer. First of all, select the color picker tool, and select the yellow color. It will be set as our foreground color. Then select the dashed rectangle tool, and draw a box, something like this. When you release your mouse, you will see a selection area. Press Ctrl plus Backspace. It will fill the selected color to the foreground color we have selected earlier. Right click the new layer, and choose Clipping Mask. Make sure this layer stays top of the shape layer. It will make the new layer color fill and stay where the bottom layer appears. Select the shape layer and add a rounded corner. This will make the look a little bit playful. Again create another shape layer where we will be placing the icons. Give that a little bit rounded corner than the base shape. Double click the icon shape layer, then add a gradient overlay. Click the gradient color picker icon, and then click the small corners. Then add your colors. I will keep one color to the primary color, and the remaining one to a darker tone of the main color. Keep the remaining settings like mine. At last, add a stroke with the primary color. Let's add the text. Select the text tool and draw an area where the text will remain. Type your text and move to the text load option. Select the fonts you want to use. Throughout this free stream design series, I will be using Highrise and Newark font. Both of them are free to download. Once you have imported the fonts, search the names of the font in the search bar. Then from the font properties option, you can make further adjustments.
Now double click the text layer to reveal the layer styles. Choose the gradient overlay color. I will choose the top gradient color to pure white and the bottom color will be a blue tone. Once you are happy with the gradient, add a thin stroke with white color, it will make the text more stand out from the background. Click the drop shadow option. Add a very subtle drop shadow that can barely be seen. It will make the text pop. It's time to add the icon in the left side box. You can get the icons from Icons 8, Icon Scout, or Flat Icon. Drag your icon directly to your canvas. Enable the Transform tool and make it bigger by holding Shift and dragging the corner. When I was editing this part, I realized my screen was recorded because I forgot to play the recording again after a pause. That's why the browser is different this time. Thank you for understanding. Once you have placed the icon in place, double click the icon layer. It will bring up the layer style. From there, you can see my settings. It will make the icon look more 3D. The inner shadow gives a 3D look and the drop shadows give it floating and depth to it. To make the base shape texturized, first, right-click the shape layer and select Convert to Smart Object. Then go to Filter, then Noise, and choose Add Noise. Give the noise amount to 3%. Alternatively, you can add a Texture Design PNG on top of the shape layer. Then choose Screen as Blending option. Clipping mask the texture pack to the shape layer, and you are good to go. To add the watermark text, Add a text layer and make it super big so it fills most of the shape. Import your different texture image if you want to add another texture style only for the icon box. Then make it smaller so it fills the shape icon. Then hold the control button and click the thumbnail of the shape icon. It will make a selection. Then select the texture layer and click the mask icon. Now, it will look like the shape layer. Add screen or lighten as blending option, and you are good to go. It's time to export the panels. Select all the layers and make right click. Then select convert to smart object. After that, go to file and choose new. Make a new canvas with 320 for width and 180 for height. It will make another composition. Copy the smart object from the current canvas by pressing Ctrl plus C. Then go to the new composition from the top composition bar. Press Ctrl plus V to paste the smart object, but you can't see anything. Enable the transform tool and then make it smaller. Then drag the layer into the white area. Now, you can see it. Resize it as per your need. Once you are done, press C to enable the crop tool or click this icon. Then make the canvas to fit the panel only. Then hit enter or click the check icon. OK, disable the background layer by clicking the eye icon. Go to File. Choose Save as PSD if you want the source file. Select Save as and then PNG. Use 100% for the quality and hit Save. There you go. You have successfully created your custom Twitch panels for your Twitch channel. 
As this is a smart object, you can edit it further by clicking the small icon in the thumbnail. The same thing goes for the icons. Double-click the smart object icon and import your icon. Disable the previous icon and hit Ctrl plus S to save it. Now go back to the original composition. The icon has been changed. Make sure you have always saved the inside components once you did the changes. If you don't save it, the change will not happen. Watch the previous episode where I have shown how to make a clean face cam overlay and the other episode on how to make a stream screen. Catch you in the next one. Peace.